Sultan Mehmed II built this fortress of seven towers in 1458. The Ottomans went on to use it as a treasury, archive and state prison. Today, it's a museum and is currently hosting the Istanbul Triennial. It's the first time the event's been held at this spot, and for one of its curators, the place's history made it an alluring setting for the art show. Some of the artworks on display were inspired by the stories of specific rooms. For instance, the towers here used to be dungeons. In one of them, people were frightened with snakes. There used to be a snake pit here, and artist Didem Erbash transformed the scary pit into a sky. But if someone tries jumping into it, they will fall in the sky and be free. That sky is the work of local artist Dita Marbash. It's actually a projection beamed into the pit, which shows clouds and tadpoles. But why? As this tower's top part is open and you can see the sky, I had an idea about how to show the relationship between the earth and the sky. And instead of using a mirror to reflect it, I wanted to use a projection that plays my recordings of the sky. As for its relationship with the Earth, I tried to show that through my recordings of frog larvas. And at another tower, Spanish artist Mario Rodriguez's work is on show. It's called Portals. His inspiration for this squiggling light is the Bosphorus Strait that divides the east and west of Istanbul. But Rodriguez says this pattern can be seen everywhere from waves to branches, veins and so on. In this case, he also imagined it as a rope to escape the dungeon. He also says the whole idea goes hand in hand with the theme of the triennial, which is borders and walls as heterotopian spaces. Well, the, the theme of the triennial is what the, the uh, teletopic, which is uh, something that is in the body that is not meant to be there. So we're working with contemporary materials, which is lead light and mirror, which is like uh, industrial and contemporary materials, uh, in, com in related to a really ancient building made in, in stone. So, so that, that mixture of, of times is, is really interesting. And in this tower, which once imprisoned people, now sits Nermin Ulker's unusual birds. Normally they're animals that symbolize freedom, but ironically, these ones can't fly away. Just as the Yedikule fortress wasn't built to house captives at first, it also sure wasn't made to display contemporary art. Yet, here they are, adding another layer to the structure's complicated and diverse history. Zeynep Gökçe, TRT World.